Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new and today we are continuing our mystical motherhood challenge. I'm very excited to get back into this challenge. It's really really fun to play and I see that a few of you have uh, tried this challenge on your own, on your own game and that makes me really happy. Thank you for everyone who left opinions and comments on the last video helping me try and get this challenge in order. It's been really helpful. I still haven't made any like permanent decisions yet. Um, but I'm working on it. So yeah, enough chit chat. Let's get into this episode of the occult baby challenge. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are back on the lot. Uh, I did make some changes to the house. I actually made a, uh, what was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? A mermaid bedroom, sorry. I need to get used to um, filming again. When I don't film for a little bit of time, uh, my brain kind of like forgets how to do it. Aww, she's playing and they're watching. Okay, so through this door is the mermaid baby's bedroom. Uh, wow. <laughs> seeing it in this mode, it's like so different than seeing it in build mode. But I took your guys' advice and I put a swimming pool in the middle of the room for them so that they can jump in the water anytime they feel like they want to. And then I found all this like nautical CC that I downloaded. It's so cute. Like all this like fish and sea stuff. I love this mermaid statue and this like nautical furniture. The wallpaper is CC. Uh, that light is pretty much everything you see is CC. <laughs> But it kind of looks ma Max's match. The wallpaper is the only thing that doesn't really. And then over here we have some more like, uh, oh no, those fishies. I gotta fix that. We just have more sea themed stuff. Uh, really, really cute. I love this starfish cushion. Um, just little books with the lighthouse. I don't know. I really like it and I hope you guys like it too. <laughs> So, if you guys missed the last episode, oh, that's right, I also got a uh, got us a butler, and these are his um, little quarters over here. They're very simple, but, um, I don't know, it's just really clean looking, and, uh, you know what, I would live here. I would live there and be so happy. Ooh, what's going on out here? What'd you make? Hamburgers. How to serve and not be served. Self-help. Oh, it's a butler book. How sweet. <laughs> um, right, so if you missed last episode, we were able to have mermaid babies. We had Ariel and Sebastian. And, okay, I was playing around on this game for a little bit just because I wanted to figure out how to have a baby with Grimm. And I knew it was going to take some, like, time and it was probably going to be boring to film. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, oh my god, there's so many angry people around. So I just kind of like tr tried to do it, like I added him to the family and I made her and Grimm married in Cass. Now that I think about it, I probably should have done this on camera, but I just wanted to see if it would work. Um, so yeah, I got them married in Create a Sim and then they were able to try for baby, So, but I didn't do it. So I wanted to actually try that with you guys. So I moved out Grimm. Um, and yeah, for some reason all of our romance What? wait, hold on. No, no, no. Wrong person. Okay, here we go. So I moved him out and it says that we're divorced because I undid like the marriage thing. But, uh, we're gonna try. We'll try to have a baby with him in this episode. Cause it's not really like how you do it. It's like, can you do it? And what are the offspring gonna look like? Cause that's, that was kind of like my main vision for this challenge. So yeah. Uh, so what I was thinking right off the bat is that we could give them their makeovers because I don't want them to be toddlers anymore. I'm just going to do it in creative sim because aging up six toddlers sounds like a nightmare and I'd rather not do it. So I'm not going to. <laughs> That's the beauty of this challenge. You can pretty much do whatever you want. Okay, so I was thinking we could... I'll age them up to children just so you guys can see like what they'll look like as children. But ultimately, I want their final makeovers to be teen. So we're gonna age all of them up into teens right now. And uh, yeah. And then we'll start working on their skills because another thing, when I was messing around with the Grim thing, I could change the maximum household to 25. 25, but the only thing with that is you can't edit them in cast. 
Like when you go into cast, it only shows eight sims. And a big part of this challenge, for me at least, is giving them like cute makeovers that go with their, their species or their occult or whatever. So I decided not to do that. So we're gonna be uh, chilling with these six toddlers at the moment, just working on their skills. Um, we, hmm, hmm, there's really no point in moving Patchy out because we only have one more spot after that and I like to have twins. So we'll see, we'll see how fast we can get uh, their skills up. So yeah, let's do these makeovers. So this is Oak as a child. He's actually uh, extremely, extremely cute and I have a feeling he's going to be a very handsome uh, adult. So that's cool. All right, and then Miss Juniper here, who is freaking so cute. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the phone, hold the phone. I need to, uh... okay, never mind, never mind. I was gonna say which eyes he had, but I already know which eyes he had. And then she has those eyes with those brows. Okay, I will remember that. Let's age her up. Okay. Let's uh, take all this garbage off. Okay, your eyes are very close together, but you know what? It is what it is. <laughs> okay, and then we have Xenon, who... So, everyone who said that she's not an alien was right. You can only have an alien if you get abducted, and you can only have an alien if it's alien on alien, not alien on human. If you do an alien and human baby, it's called a hybrid, and they have alien options, but they're not technically an alien. So, I changed them to aliens in MC Command Center because I wanted to, and I wanted them to be aliens. It didn't really change the way they look, but it did give them a human disguise. So, yeah. <laughs> Just thought I'd share that with you guys. So if you're planning on having an alien baby, um, you have to be an alien yourself. Unless you want to um, cheat it like I did. Okay, this is her child form. I mean, cute, but not that exciting. Really not. Okay, and Mr. Zerg here. Let's give you in your, your human uh, disguise. So this is what he looked like before. And here he is as a child. Okay, cool, yes, I'm feeling his look. I'm really feeling his look. I'm excited to see what he's like as a, a teenager. All right, and then Mr. Sebastian, he's so cute. Okay, it was those brows and those eyes. I'll try and remember, I truly will try. All right, here's him as a child. He looks a lot like Oak. I mean, they are brothers. Cute, I love the curly hair. I wish there was curly hair like this, but alpha. That would make my life so easy. All right, and last but not least, we have Miss Ariel. Uh, let's child her. Okay. She looks like every other child in The Sims 4. I wish there was more variety, but hey, it is what it is. Their dad? Right, their dad was the mohawk guy. Okay, so now that we see what they all look like as children, it's kind of funny, really, the only special uh, sims we have are aliens right now. Oh well. I think, um... I think the next babies we'll have will probably be the vampire ones and the spellcaster ones. So I'm excited for that. Alright, let's work on Oak. I think his aspiration is going to be creativity and then his trait... Probably... like, loves outdoors or something? I think that fits. Alright. <laughs> Love the gap, so cute. Let's give him the hair color that he had when he was a kid and let's give him the proper eyes. I kind of like this outfit. I mean, it's it's honestly hard finding, um, whoa, what the heck happened to the, oh my goodness, okay. Um, yeah, what was I gonna say? <laughs> it's kind of hard finding like really earthy clothing. Wait, I didn't age him up to a teen yet. What am I doing? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Let's age him up to a scene and see what he looks Scoop like. Okay, our boy is a bit buff, which I kind of like because he's an outdoorsy person. Okay. Not bad looking. Not bad at all. And I, since he's going to be out in the sun or has been out in the sun because he loves the outdoors and all that good stuff, 
I gave my boy some pretty crazy freckles. <laughs> I like them. Definitely giving this hair, giving him this hair because um, when I think like a mountain man, this is that's kind of like what I'm going for. A mountain man type. Okay, now let's give him his uh, mountain man outfit and I have no idea what it's gonna be. <laughs> Definitely not that, why did I just click that? <laughs> You guys, what about this? Is this like too pirate? <laughs> I mean, I feel like it kind of works, so we're just gonna go with that. And then his other trait, man, I don't know. Maybe they should like inherit a trait from their, uh, from their dad. So fun loving. I really like the fun loving trait. I think it was so cute that Patchy had that. So we're gonna do that. And then his. Thing is gonna be freelance botanist, of course. <sighs> All right, Oak is done. Let's work on his sister Juniper. Let us age her up to a teen, and voila! There she is. Gold teeth. I think we might have to keep the gold teeth. <laughs> I hope you guys aren't opposed to that. Okay, hat off, hair off. You had which brows again? It was these. You had them in brown. And then you had the same eyes as your brother. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I feel like I want to give her this hair. I know, I know I always give my Sims this hair, but it's such a good hair. It's such a good hair for like girls who have that earthy vibe i don't know oh my god she looks like the chick from uh dr sleep is it dr sleep <laughs> uh, i know exactly which outfit to give her to i use it in my 100 baby challenge i think it's so cute oh i could give her the gardening <laughs> outfit but i mean like man that is so cliche this one i think this is so cute Love this, but I don't know if I'm feeling the hat, so we might just remove it. Oh my god, she can have a scarecrow hat. <sighs> that looks absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Ooh. Too bad none of them match the vibe. That would have been really cute. All right, and I decided to give her glasses and I kept her gold teeth, don't hate me. I just thought it was like a cute touch. Hers is going to also be freelance botanist. She's gonna be, let's see. Let's give her the green thumb trait and then let's also give her, hmm, actually let's do super green thumb and I don't remember- oh, uh, Patchy's traits. Light eater, mischievous. Okay, we can give her the mischievous trait. Let's move on to Xenon. Super excited. Let's see what she looks like as a teen. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So risque. And oh my gosh, she's beautiful! Okay, there we go, that's better. <laughs> oh my god, she's amazing. She's amazing! Okay, where are the proper eyes at? There we go. And I'm pretty sure she had... Which brows were they? Well, actually, those don't look bad. Okay, let's just mess with those for now. She can have different uh, brows now that she's older. And oh my god, picking hair for her is gonna be so much fun. Oh, how cute is that? I love this. I love it so much. I think this is probably the best one. We're gonna go with that. Whoa. Ooh, what kind of teeth should she have? I think braces are fun. She's a teen, so that fits. I gave her two, a double nose piercing as well. I rarely do piercings, so I'm just having some fun with her. Oh, you know what? There are these earrings that I have that are planets and stars. Hopefully I can use it. Here we go. Aww. Oh, so cute. I don't know if I like the blue or the white. Let's just do the white for now. This is what I'm gonna dress her in. 
I tried to find the craziest possible thing I had in my collection and that is definitely it. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make her aspiration. Um, what should we do for her? Knowledge, should we do... Oof, this is a tough one. Let's do love. And then her traits, genius, and webmaster. Okay, let's move on to Zerg, her brother. Boom, team. Volcana, meet them. Okay, oh my gosh. She has a human disguise, which we haven't done yet. Oh my god. I wish that just didn't exist, but whatever. <laughs> These are their alien forms that we are currently working on. Okay, wow. Very, very interesting. Should we give him the super tall hair? <gasps> I'm gonna try and use things that I don't normally use in my game, and this is definitely one of them. So with his outfit, I kind of feel like there isn't really a lot that we can do. I have like cool female CC, but my male CC, as far as like cool stuff goes, is very lacking. So I think we're probably just going to put him in his uh, alien suit. Alright Zerg, well that was super easy. Your aspiration is going to be... Let's do let's do computer whiz and then you can be let's make him observant. Uh, this trait is observant sims learn the traits of others just by meeting them. We can just pretend that he's got like an alien power that reads people's minds and automatically knows what uh, what they're all about. And then we can also do well we need to do a computer one since his thingy is computer whiz. Okay, let's do programmer. They're naturally good at coding. Okay, moving on to the mermaid children. I'm so excited. All right, let's see this bean. Okay. They all are looking very, very similar and it kind of makes me sad, but it is what it is. Okay, so he had, if I can remember correctly, I'm pretty sure it was these eyes. They just look different when you're a toddler. But I'm pretty sure it was those. Okay, and look at his nose, guys. This is such an interesting shaped nose that is rarely present in any of my Let's Plays. So I'm kind of excited for that. A little variety. Let's give him a shark tooth necklace, because why not? <laughs> Alright guys, here's his mermaid form. I gave him this really cool, um, like, speckled eyeshadow I thought was awesome and I just picked this purple tail because I liked it <laughs> and then here is his normal form which I also really like so his aspiration is gonna be whatever beach life sure and then we're gonna give him child of the ocean and <laughs> I mean heat acclimation or heat proof makes sense he just like likes hot weather or oh, waterproof. That's perfect. He just doesn't get wet in the rain. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, Ariel. Okay, let's age her up into a teen. See what we got. Okay. Looking pretty similar. <laughs> Should we give her this hair? That's just like constantly blowing in the wind, and it makes it makes it look like she's always underwater. <laughs> All right, so here's her mermaid form. I love this hair because it actually makes her look like she's underwater, and I think that's amazing. Or should we do the seashells? Hmm. No, we'll stick with this one. Okay, and this is her regular <laughs> form. Very cute. It reminds me of the Little Mermaid for sure. Um, her aspiration will be. Let's do Collector, like Ariel. Um, okay, Collector, and then Traits. Child of the Ocean, and... Should we do Animal Whisper, or should we do, like, a singing one? Natural Singer? Okay, yeah, let's do that. Okay, we're finally done. Oh my god, that took me so long. 
It took me an hour and 30 minutes, you guys. Ugh, and we haven't even done any gameplay. Woo! I'm sorry if this is gonna be a short episode, but dang, that took a lot out of me. All right, we're back in action. The bills need to be paid, so I'm gonna get Brenna to do that really quick. A cult of meal. I never want to come get some food. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Look at everyone come. At least you can tell like whose kids are who. Am I right? Like you could totally tell. Ariel is just here, but it, she'd be looking like she in the water. <laughs> oh man, I love that. That is funny. Okay, so first things first. You need to purchase some seeds so you can get that gardening skill up. Why don't you be in charge of fruits? And then Juniper can be in charge of flowers. Let me know who your guys' favorite teen is. I think they're all super cool and I love them all. I think Ariel's my favorite. I think she looks the most like what she is. So I can appreciate that. All right, so she got bluebells, daisies, holly, and chrysanthemums. Wow. Come on over. Get your gardening skill up. We need more planters. Okay, all he got was apples, grapes, and plantains, which was really unfortunate because those are like all trees, except for the grape one. Oh my god, really? That's all there is? Oh, whatever. Fine, we're only planting grapes then. He's gonna be the master of grapes. Actually, you know what would be freaking hilarious? If he uh, was really into wine and like brewing, making his own wine, so he only grows grapes. I'm vibing that. I vibe it. Who the heck is calling Xenon? Who do you know? There is nothing interesting about you. You're joking, right? She's a freaking alien and look at her outfit. That's really sad. She probably gets bullied at school because of it. So she's bullied. Oak is bullied. And Zerg is as well. Of course you're popular. Invisible? Hmm. That doesn't seem right. She's popular as well. Wow, we only have two popular kids. Don't you dare water. No, that's not your job. You know what? Hold up. Hold the phone. Butler. Management. No, wait. Responsibilities. Stop gardening. It's it's not. It's not. It's not your vibe. It's not your uh, responsibility. Okay. It's like, wow. Get that gardening on. All right, I'm gonna need you to come up here and work on your... Sleep? Oh, that's so cool. Just swim laps. Oh, and everyone needs regular beds now. <gasps> okay, let me do that real quick. I'm also gonna have to make their rooms less... Less... What's the word? Uh, childish, because they still have all their childhood stuff in there. I'm gonna have to get rid of that and redo their rooms. I love this. What do you need to be working on? You're singing, right? Okay, uh, practice singing. So I was thinking for the mermaids, we'll do. Ariel can do singing. Sebastian can do fitness. What the heck happened to you? <laughs> um, Sebastian can do fitness, and then homegirl here. Should we do a uh, flower arranging for her? Let's do flower arranging for her, and then for Oak we'll do gardening, and then for Xenon we'll do uh, for Xenon we'll do the rocket science skill. And for Zerg, we'll do programming. Look at this. She's so aerial. It hurts. Since she's a natural... Oh my god, our butler is a vampire, y'all. Okay, that's kind of crazy. She's a natural singer. She has that natural singer trait. So she doesn't even have to start at that, like, nasty horrible singing first stage she's just automatically good that's pretty amazing 
Okay, so I think we assigned a task to everyone, so that's great. We need to buy Xenon a rocket. I have no clue where the heck. I guess we could put it right here. Yeah, let's get one and then have her start working on it. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to have them take pictures with their dads when they were small. How could I forget? It's okay, we can still do it now. Build. Go, my child. Go build it. She has the genius trait, so I'm kind of hoping that um, it'll be easy for her. Sometimes I get so angry, I don't know what to do with myself. Do a workout, because that's what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be working on that fitness skill. I'm kind of thinking maybe getting it to uh, level 10 might be kind of an overkill. So maybe we'll just do level 5. Once they hit level 5, they can move out um, with their dads. We'll move them in with their dads. I think that would be nice. Flower arranging books for our love here. So she can get that skill up. Really, flower arranging one. What is a flower? Wow. Just wow. Everyone loves the pool. That's like all they want to do is be in the pool. I should probably lock the door for everyone but... Everyone but the mermaids. Why is he glowing? Oh, he glows what his mood is? Since he's sad, he's glowing blue right now? Aw, poor guy. And what are you eating? What the? Butternut Noki, wear it at though. Cause... <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Okay, so he's practicing his programming. Our love over here is reading a flower arranging book. She's on her way to ask Patchy for some advice. Uh, this child, she was working on a rocket science skill, but she really, really has to pee. So I'm gonna get her to do that. Go ahead and go. You'll work on your skill later. Sebastian? Watch funny video. Nah, I need you to work on your fitness. Swim laps. Oh my, what? Did that say level six? Oh my god. That is ridiculous. How? How the heck? Okay, hang on. This um trait is so stupidly overpowered. These sims are naturally good at singing and build the singing skill fast. Oh, nice, Patchy. I didn't know you could, like, walk through walls. You too, Brenna! Child, read the book. Please, just keep reading. Good girl. Oh, right, I need to assign them their beds. All right, Zerg is now level two. Proud of you, dude. Keep it going. Oh my god, all these teenagers do is ask for advice. Hey, if you're hungry, go ahead and grab some, my dude. It's fine. Aw, what a cute family dinner. Why can't everyone, like, sit? Sit. Come over here. Bring your food. Oh, okay. Oh. You, you, you enjoying table? <laughs> you enjoying that plate of table? Yeah? Aw, look at you. Mmm, smells good. I love the smell of wood. You're really taking this mountain man thing seriously, aren't you? <laughs> oh, man. This is great. This is absolutely fantastic. Why don't you brighten her day? She's not feeling well. Brag about partying? This will make you more popular? Ew! That is so lame. Why can't we brighten her day? That's all I want to do. Let's give her some props. Give her props. Why are you just standing there? Sup, dude. You're sick. Everyone knows you're sick. I don't know why you're being bullied, but you know what? You're a good person and don't worry about it. Are you happy now? Yay, she's happy now. Back float. Sweetie pie. No. I need you to read your flower arranging book. Where'd you put it? 
Oh my god, it's gonna take years to find. Whoa, what the heck happened there? Did you guys see that? She just did something. From performing interactions that consume brain power. Oh my gosh, wow. What? Girl, stop. Oh my god, you're so mean. Who knew Juniper was gonna be the mean one? Hey look, there's grapes on the table. That's definitely yours, Oak. <laughs> uh, okay. Where does your flower arranging book go? There it is. You put it away, good girl. Keep reading it. Oh, okay, good night. Good night, you two. Good night. Good night. Oh, oh, oh. I should probably lock this door before someone else comes in. Because this pool is strictly for the mermaids. Lock door for... Oh, man. Okay, let's do everyone but Ariel. And then... Allow access to, or unlock for specific sim. Hold up. There we go. Okay, so it only should be for them two now. Hopefully. Patchy, that's not your bed. Come sleep here. <gasps> Why is the butler in this bed? This is not your bed. I assigned you this one. Oh my gosh, she's feeling embarrassed from telling the butler to get out of the bed. You have a bed over here, son. Just come over here. Is he going? Is he going to his quarters? No. I can't believe everyone's asleep. This is like such a rare occasion in The Sims. I wonder if she'll like sleep with Patchy. Okay, good. They're still on good terms. This makes me happy. She's the only one that's up. Oof, never mind, I lied. <laughs> Come to bed, child. Ariel's up. Dry scales from low hydration. Oh my god, look, she's in the bath with her tail. I love this. This is so cool. This is my first time playing with a mermaid. This is my first time playing with an alien. A lot of firsts for me in this Let's Play. I don't understand why it's like blurred out though. She should have a, like her mermaid form on. Keep practicing your singing, love. And everyone has school. Lame. Bye, everyone. Have a good day at school. Let's just keep it normal. I don't want them to get too stressed out. This isn't about grades at all. You may be, re be recognized soon. Hide. Oh my god. Darling, go to school. Go. Oh no, Patchy's nauseous from cleaning this nasty tub. <laughs> I don't blame you. Oh my gosh, Ariel. Okay, stop singing. Go to school. Go, go, go. Go. Go, darling. Go. All right. Well, while they're at school, why don't we... Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I actually put some vampires in the game. I found them on the gallery. Um, Let me show you, actually, so I can give the person a proper shout out. If you guys don't know my gallery uh, thing, username, everything is SimSav, but you just have to click this box over here called include custom content for my stuff to show up, like my builds and my sims and all that. So just make sure to click that box. So the two vampires I found were, ah, these two, uh, by Kerrigan, Kerrigan, Hmm. Meet the Gothier brothers. They're both vampires, while, but while Jared is a little more heartless and is willing to eat anything, Estevan is still in touch with his human self and decides not to feed on humans. Jared is looking to become the most wisest and strongest vampire, and Estevan is trying to settle down and enjoy his time doing things he loves. I hope you like them. Thank you so much for making me these two vampires. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. So, I put them in the game, and I introduced them to Brenna. So she knows them already, and she has a bit of romance with one of them, uh, Estevan. So let's let's just invite him to hang out. Let's get that relationship up some more so that she can... Estevan is sleeping. Uh, it's 9.45, though. What you mean? Wait, no, don't prank the toilet. Uh, throw up. Yes, who's calling Patchy? Patchy, you, shut up. 
She's feeling very flirty, though. Let's just go to their house. If you're not willing to come here, then we're gonna come to you. I wanna show you guys what they look like, too, in the game. Um, they don't have pants on, though, cause... I don't have that CC and I haven't like fixed them up in cast yet. I kind of just placed them. But yeah, that's why they don't have any pants. Oh, Widow Shield Town Home. Knock, knock. It is me. I am here. I'm here to collect your seed. Okay, so this is, uh, this is Esteban. Um, he is missing a lot of CC, but uh, who cares? He's a vampire. That's all we need. So let's get our relationship up with him. Aw, oh, thanks for the keys. This house is so depressing. Ooh, look at her go. Look at her go. Look at that hand on the thigh. Isn't that cute? Really? Push-ups? Really? First kiss. Get it. Get it. Yes, queen. Vampire on lock. <laughs> oh my god, we can try for baby? You know... Oh my god, what are they doing? Oh my god, they're trying for baby, but no, we don't have enough room in the house! I should probably, um, set the settings back to normal. Can you just, like, woohoo to get your, uh... Your, uh relationship up oh my god why can't i speak yay it went up quite a bit let's do it again he's feeling energized after that there you go perfect okay so that's the vampire that we're gonna have kids with what else do we need well grandma we're gonna Ooh, clement send him a flirty text and see if he invites you on a date ah yes lounge stargazer lounge Okay, Santa, I didn't realize you were such a Hollywood person. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, and it's snowing. Grabbing drinks. How sweet is that? Okay, let's tell him a dirty joke. See if uh, see what his vibe is. Dom Sabuna, Arps, Aga Aga, Serpa! <laughs> okay, he liked it. Good. Let's flirt with him. Flatter. Deep conversation, <laughs> offer rose, kiss hands, flirt! Okay, he's feeling flirty, so that's good. Oh my god, yes. Yes, he loves us. He loves us! First kiss already? Come on. Locking Santa down so quick. I feel uncomfortable. Ask to be boyfriend! Oh, no, no boyfriends in this let's play. Attempt to seduce. Blow oh, he dipped! He left! He freaking left us. I'm sad. I'm sad. What are you gonna do? Order a drink? You know what? You do that. I'm not gonna stop you. You deserve one. What are you gonna order? What did you order? I'm always curious to see what my sim's favorite drink is, so... Order favorite drink. Oh, and you're making a friend. That's very sweet. So you're having a... Wait, that is your favorite drink? Okay, well, uh, what's our butler doing here? You should be- oh, it's 5.30 on a Tuesday. Ooh, now he's inviting us for dinner. But wait, what was our favorite drink? A what a heft of beer. Oh, okay, so she likes beer. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we can go to dinner with you, Santa. You did just bail on us, but you know what, it's fine. He probably was like, you know what, I've got some like Christmas stuff I gotta do. I gotta go wax my, my sled. Want to meet up later for dinner? And she was like, yeah, I'll just stay here and have a couple drinks. Chill. Dang! I mean, you didn't have to go that hard for uh, dinner with Santa, but okay. She's like, do you like my dress? Attempt mistletoe kiss with Santa? 
I mean, yeah. Do it for the thumbnail. Do it for the thumbnail. All right, let's get dinner. Let's get dinner. I am starving. Oh, and he gave us a rose. Why am I thinking that Santa is endgame? I know you guys want Patchy to be endgame, but this is going really well. He gave us a rose. We wore our best dress. I don't know, guys. All right, let's order. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a freaking cosmopolitan, obviously. Santa's gonna have sparkling water because he's a pure soul. We're gonna have, I'm gonna get her to the space taco with pearled egg core. And Santa's definitely gonna have the uh, gift looking whatever that is, I don't even know. But yeah, uh -huh. there you go, an $83 date. <laughs> Stop it with that arm, dude. You're freaking me out. Let's ask about his love life. So, how are things with Mrs. Claus? Is there a Mrs. Claus? It's like, nope. No Mrs. Claus here. Those are all myths. Christmas myths. I am alone. I do everything myself. She's like, can I get the mahi mahi? But only the one mahi because I'm not that hungry. <laughs> Like this video if you know where that's from. <laughs> oh my god, they're getting along so well. Make funny faces. Oh my god, he loves it. He loves it because he's, yeah, he's childish. Samarga Dorsai. Whoa. She's engaging, isn't she? Tell him a funny story. I think he would like that. Ask him about his income. <laughs> Declare weather preference. Declare love for snow. Because he likes snow, I bet. And she's like, you know what my favorite weather is? Snow. You know what my favorite holiday is? Christmas. You know what my favorite place of vacation is? The North Pole. Isn't that like such a coincidence? When they love each other. Where's dinner? Yay, it's here. Oh my god, look at freaking- Oh, whoa! Hold the phone! Bro, you need to freaking chill. You need to calm down. That is funny. Quit flirting in front of the waiter. Look at him with the sparkling water and his little gift. Oh my god, he has gold teeth. Eat! Eat your present. Mmm, taco and a Cosmo. Eat the taco. I just ate a taco. <sighs> Are they soulmates yet? Just lovers. Compliment or bemoan lack of banana for scale. Where is that one? <sighs> Meditate upon sublime flavors. I've never seen that one before. Dang, she's super flirty. Oh my god, he's blowing her kisses. Magical kisses. Holy cannoli. This is getting hot fast. Rhapsodize about piano sonatas? Oh right, she, she's like a music person. What the heck is going on over here? Oh my god, they're arguing. You know when it's super awkward when you're somewhere and there's just like a couple arguing in the background? This is literally what's happening right now. Oh my god! He's leaving! Oh my god, that was so funny! They're, they gotta be a couple. They gotta be. And they're just gotten a huge fight. And we just witnessed it. And she brought their food. <laughs> oh my god. What's happening here? 
Oh my god, that is so cute. It's like a firework. Where'd Brenna go? Who the heck are you looking- Oh, you player. You player. Get out of here with your coffee. What stinks? Who smells? Anyway, where's Brenna at? Okay, she's using the potty. She didn't even finish her food. Go away! Oh, it's the waitress that smells. Did you really just put your dirty cup on our plate? I don't like her. Oh my god, no, she's drunk! Sloppy drunk! Okay, um... Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's... What's, a, what's in the, um, passionate romance? Holy crap, look at that! Um... Let's take romantic selfie. Oh, whoa. What the? What is happening here? We're just gonna just take that, and that's that. Um, what else can we do? Let's, um... Romantic hug and get out of here. Cause she's really not feeling good. What is this romantic hug? What the? Okay. That's cute. Oh, he's like, it's okay, love. Don't worry about it. We all get too drunk sometimes. This guy's like, what the heck happened to her? This is interesting. Aww. Aww. Okay. Time to go home. Bye, Santa. Thanks for the lovely time. Will you pick up the tab? Great. See ya. Oh my god, are they soulmates now? They're soulmates now. <gasps> Aww! How very sweet. Aww. Okay, well he didn't pick it up, but whatever. Hi, everybody! Alright. Uh-oh, her and Xenon don't like each other. Ooh. Okay, keep reading your flower arranging book. Zerg. Practice your programming. You, my love. I know it's raining, but I need you to come out here and continue building this. You... You need to work out, so, uh, swim laps. Is swimming laps even doing anything for you? Okay, yeah, it is. And then you, my child, you are our star. You have almost reached uh. level 10. And then, Oak, please read the gardening book. All right, there you go. Everyone is working on their stuff and she is passed out from being too intoxicated. I get it. I get it. Apache, what you up to? Can you cook something? I know we have a butler, but we don't even really need this butler anymore. <gasps> I want Apache to be so good at baking, and I want him to bake stuff. I want him to bake bread, so I'm gonna cheat his skills. Should we just max all of his skills? I think that would be fun. Let's do it. Blee, 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 blee. All right, Pachelito, can you please not cook? Uh, bake. What should we bake? Oh yeah, I wanted him to bake bread. Ooh, cheesy bread. Ooh, sourdough loaf. Bread pudding. Mmm. Mmm. Let's do cheesy bread. Why not? Patchy is our um. Our live-in maid, who is a super sim. <laughs> Girl. I'm about to turn autonomy off, so she just keeps reading. Call clear skies, call rainstorm, call thunderstorm. That is so cool. Let's just go jogging. Ooh, 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 the cheesy bread's done. Let's have a look. Oh my god, mood! Oh, that looks amazing, Patchy. Just amazing. I'm gonna get Zerg and Xenon to watch a movie together since both of their fun is super low. Sorry, this is gonna pop up for a while until it goes through all of the skills that he maxed. So annoying. Hey! You're supposed to be reading. But yeah, you can have some cheesy bread first. I'm okay with that. 
Boing, boing, boing. I want this. I want that bread. All right, everyone. Off to school you go. Bye-bye. So her flower arranging skills at level three. I think that's pretty good. His programming is at level four. Rocket science, level three. Fitness, level three. Singing, level eight. Okay, Miss Overachiever. And gardening level two. So Oak is the one that is the most far behind, but you know what? Oh, I think he's paranoid, actually. I don't know. I don't know. He might be a paranoid vampire. I think we're gonna leave this part right here. It was a pretty successful episode. We were able to age up all the kids and give them their makeovers. We got the vampire locked down and we also got Santa locked down. So we'll definitely do that once we move out some of the teens. I hope you guys are still enjoying this Let's Play. I know I am, it's actually really very fun. If you have any suggestions about the skills or aspiration the vampire kids should master for their task, let me know. Also let me know for Santa's kids. I was thinking maybe, um, oh, thanks Patchy. Oh, he's so nice, I love him. I was thinking maybe they could do like the friend of the world aspiration because um, I can't think of a skill that kind of goes with Santa. Let me see. Let me see. Hang on a minute. Ooh, look at him buttering up some whatever that is. Um, let's see. Hang on. So there's, is there anything that has to do with Santa? Or like the holidays. Maybe cooking? Ah, yeah, maybe cooking. I think that'd be pretty cool. Baking! Oh my god, yes, that's perfect. Oh, I forgot robotics was a skill. Let me know if you guys want me to change one of the aliens' uh, skill thing to robotics. Because I haven't done that in The Sims before. So yeah, I think um, baking would be a good one. Baking and cooking for Santa's two kids. And then for the vampires, we could do like vampire lore for one of them and for the other we could do... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we just do both of them vampire lore. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments. <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you for watching this episode. Please let me know in the comments who your favorite teen is. Let me know in the comments what you think about our future teens and what skills we should try to accomplish. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!